Marjorie Taylor Greene is now the chaos chairman. She runs the, the most radical elements of the house. She sets their agenda. She has now called for the, the removal, the, the removal of, of, of Mike Johnson as Speaker of the House, vacating the chair. And the reason is really, really alarming. It's that he's not radical enough. Mike Johnson, the most, maybe the most radical Speaker of the House since Newt Gingrich. Uh, and he's not radical enough for the most radical in the House. It, it tells you where we are. The Speaker of the House is typically down the line, mainstream Republican or Democrat for that matter. Nancy Pelosi, corporate, middle of the road, not rocking the boat Democrat. That's not the case with the Republican Party. Mike Johnson embodies all of the most radical desires of the Republican Party. And he's not radical enough for Thomas Massey, who we're going to talk about, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, and that section, that large cross-section of elected Republicans in the House of Representatives. So I'm going to play first this. It was revealed yesterday that Thomas Massey is on board with vacating the chair more chaos for not only the Republican Party, but for the country, because you can't lead the way we're set up without a speaker, nothing gets done. Things that desperately need done, don't get done. Even the obstructionist radical policies that want to be put forward by, by these radical Republicans, that won't get done either without a speaker. And they don't care. They don't care because chaos is the intent. That's the ultimate goal here, even if it's their own to their own demise. So here's Thomas Massey being interviewed by uh, Manu Raju, House reporter, or fantastic House reporter for CNN, and uh, he's just giving up the game. That the motion's going to get called. He's going to get there. It's going to happen. Uh, I don't know whether he'll he'll be removed. I was wrong about Kevin McCarthy being removed which I don't know how I'm conflicted about. I'm as conflicted about that as Juan Merchan is conflicted about the Donald Trump thing. <laughs> I just finished doing that video, so it's, it's in my head. Um, so here's Thomas Massey talking about this, and then I guess we'll, we'll analyze it a little bit, bit more on the uh, other side of the clip. There's only one person right now who can stop us from going into what happened last fall, and that's Mike Johnson. He's cleaning the barn, that's obvious. So you want him to resign? You want him to resign? Yes. Yeah, I asked him to resign. What did he, what did he say? He said he would not. And then I said, well, you're the one who's going to put us into this. Because the motion is going to get called, okay? Does anybody doubt that? The motion will get called. And then he's going to lose more votes than Kevin McCarthy. And I have told him this in private, like, weeks ago. This is bizarre shifting of responsibility here. Thomas Massey is saying that he's telling Mike Johnson, you, Mike Johnson, are the only one that can stop this, and you have to do it by resigning. You're the only one that's going to put us into this. Well, there's another group of people that could stop this, and I don't really care whether Mike Johnson remains a speaker. They let them, let them destroy themselves. That would be my take on it. But uh, they could stop. They could not requ request or require a vote on his removal. It's not up to him. Mike Johnson. Listen, if you don't want this vote to go forward, just resign before we remove you. <laughs> they don't understand a causal relationship. They're the ones causing this, not Mike Johnson. In fact, Mike Johnson said as much yesterday when asked about this. And it, it's also rich listening to his reasoning around this. There's a quote in here where he says, I'm not resigning, and it's in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. You foster this environment. You don't lead Mike Johnson. Uh, this is why I have no sympathy for him or any other Republican that's going to whine about, well, what are we You're not going to get anything done? You didn't get anything done before. If you actually led, if you actually uh, weren't trying to just wrangle feral cats, you might actually have some leadership ability, some qualities that would set you apart from your predecessors, like the feckless 
Kevin McCarthy. Here's Mike Johnson uh, defiantly talking to the press. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, what is what is your response to Republicans who say this move should cost you your job and that if you don't resign, they will try to oust you? Uh, I am not resigning, and it is um, it is, in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. Um, it is not helpful to the cause. It is not helpful to the country. It is not help the House Republicans advance our agenda, which is in the best interest of the American people here, a secure border, uh, sound governance, uh, and it's not helpful to the unity that we have in, in the body. Look, we have, a, we have a very important mission here. Our mission is very clear. The reason most of us, I can speak for the House Republicans, the reason every House Republican ran for Congress is that they, because they wanted to come here and help to save this beleaguered republic of ours. We want to save the country. We believe that we're in an existential moment. We really do. This is a civilizational moment. It's a, uh, it, it's a moment where we're going to decide in this election cycle which vision we have for the country. See, we believe, and you all have heard me say before, we believe in the founding principles, the foundations of America, things like individual freedom and limited government and the rule of law and peace through strength and fiscal responsibility and free markets and human dignity, the foundational, the anchor points that, that make us the exceptional nation that we are. And, and right now we're in, a, we're in a, a political struggle, a battle between a completely different vision for the country. We, we have colleagues in the Congress who envision for us not those things. They have disdain for those things I just listed. They instead envision that America should be remade in the form of some sort of you know, European-style socialist utopia. That is a dangerous fool's errand. That is a road to Marxism, communism, you know, socialism. That's a step towards those eventualities, and that is not who we are as a country. You see, Mike Johnson here is painting a picture of him being at war or in battle or in, in conflict with Democrats. And even a, 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 a rudimentary understanding and glance at this view of this is that he's not at war or battle conflict with Democrats. He, he, he's at war with himself. He's at war with Republicans. They're trying to remove him. It's not Democrats that are trying to remove him. Now, when he ultimately, if it does happen that he gets removed, that will be the blame. It will be, oh, Democrats did this, just like Kevin McCarthy did. Kevin McCarthy blames Democrats for him losing the speakership rhetorically. Inside, he doesn't. And then in other moments, he blames the Republicans, the Matt Gaetzes and the, uh, the, the other rabble-rousing idiots. But you can't act like you're in conflict with Democrats here when it's your own party that wants to ax you, that wants to get rid of you, Mike. The rest of us see that. The vast majority of clear thinking Americans are, we live in reality. And we know that it, it wasn't Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez who, who took up the motion to vacate the chair. It was Marjorie Taylor Greene. It wasn't a, a member of the Democratic Party that wants to get rid of you, that want that initiated getting rid of you. It was your own party. The people who are just as radical as you. So you can whine and complain and blame and continue to demonize Democrats, but maybe get your own house in order, brother, before you start poking the finger around. I'm not resigning. Well, we'll see. And uh, it would be absurd that someone would bring a vacate, uh, to mo a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. The same thing could have been said of Kevin McCarthy. And I know you weren't at the tip of the spear to get rid of him. You were only at the tip of the spear to end democracy in America and uh, have fake electoral votes uh, be counted for Donald Trump because you are a troll. And you reap what you sow which you should know that's kind of a tenant in the New Testament, is it not? Or at least in the Old Testament. You're a Bible guy. You should know that. 
Anyway, what do you think out there? I'd love to know. We can have a conversation in the comments. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail. Please keep them brief. 714-576-4054. Of course, as always, you can email me an old fashioned email at daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you wanna help support this work, if I'm your flavor of political commentator, please consider helping me make these videos. You can click the join button below for $2 a month you can take part in this work, or you can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I'm at Dollamore everywhere on social media if you're there too, and uh, I will see you next time. By the time I'm back, we won't have a new speaker, but I'm keeping my eye on this one. <laughs> Be genuine. Take care of one another.